everyone, it's Ivoma, your guide to Nigeria. And today I am driving to Aja. Finally, finally, I am driving to Aja to change that $500. Yo, <laughs> I'm so reckless. I only have 1,000 Naira in my bank account. So like I'm forced to go to Aja. <laughs> like, but yes, y'all, I have 1,235 Naira in my bank account. So that's how I was like, you've tried <laughs> you've tried but anyway yeah i'm changing the money with the alajis and then i want them to transfer the money to to my bank account so let's see if that's possible hey uh-oh it's okay it's okay I turned the camera to the road so you can see the battle I go through daily when I drive from the last village in Lagos, Ibeju Lakey, to the rest of the city. You know, um, as you can see, this guy just hit my side mirror. I don't even blame him. Look at how the lane is looking. Look at the road. Look at what's happening. Uh, let's recap this video, okay? So remember, I sent $500 to myself via Sendwave. Sendwave is a remittance company, okay? So I sent $500 to myself. I picked it up at Access Bank and broke down the process in a video. Let me put a link above. So now I'm on step two of that process, two weeks later after I sent money to myself. So what's happening right now is I have to drive to Ikota Plaza in Aja. It is the closest black market area near me. It is a huge, massive plaza filled with so many businesses. But there's a lot of money changing men, alajis in there. So that's why I'm going to go there. And then I'm gonna walk around and, and see you know, the rates they're offering. So it usually takes me two hours to drive from Ibe Juleki to Aja which and let me break that down to you it is i'm only going 30 kilometers which is 18 miles so again it typically takes me two hours just to reach aja yay i have finally reached aja i am about to pull into ikota um, shopping plaza so I left my house at 9 a.m. I arrived a little bit like after 11.20. So it only took me two hours and 20 minutes um, on a Saturday. So it's actually not too bad. So um, I'm gonna go, I'm pretty much gonna walk around to um, money places with the lodgies in it and then just ask them um like their rate so i don't know if they're gonna let me film them so oh, i don't know how i'm gonna do it but um at least i can record maybe in my hands you won't see their faces but you're gonna hear their voices and the things they're telling me so i think that works okay <laughs> see you in a bit Excuse me? What's the rate? Yeah. Okay, let me walk around and see. So how many you want to change? Does, it doesn't matter. What's the rate? See my office there. Let me walk around and... I'm buying, I'm buying 480. 480? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'm small office. I'm not how many? How many you want? You're changing 480. Yeah. Let me walk around and come back. Okay. I know where you are. Okay, no. I cite you. You're gonna be here, right? Okay, I'll come. How much is the rate? Dollar. Yes. 480. 480. Okay. Let me check. Let me walk around. Okay. I'll come back. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. What's the rate? Which one? For dollar. Dollar. Mm -hmm. Dollar, we are buying hundred dollar. That's forty seven thousand five hundred. No, what is the rate? Four seventy five. No. Thank you. How many want to sell? It doesn't matter. You told me four seventy five. Yeah, how many you want to sell? 
I'm not selling here for 475. So. How much you want to sell up? Come, how much? How much you want to sell up? 485. 485. Uh huh. I'm going to sell my other one. How much are you going to give me? Because 475 is way too low. No, 480. No, I'm going to sell. 480. How much you want to give me now? No, I can go somewhere else. Come to a match at 480. Come on, one letter. Four AD. Come on, one letter. No. <laughs> no. How many one? Come. Four eighty. Is that the rate you're gonna give it to and me? How many one? And you're gonna transfer it to my bank account, right? Twenty twenty. I want to transfer it to my bank account. No, I don't. You don't do? Uh, yes, yes. You do? Yes. Okay, so four eighty. How many? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, come. It was bad network, so they actually had to give me cash. So I expected to receive. So the bank, the, the rate is 480 Naira for one USD, right? So all you need to do is 480 times $500, which is the amount I changed. I sent to myself via Sunwave and I would have gotten 240,000, oops, 240,000 Naira. So that's how much I was supposed to receive, right? Speaking of Sendwave, Sendwave has sponsored this video, so let me jump right into that. Sendwave is an international remittance app and it's extremely easy to use. You know, after a Central Bank of Nigeria mandate that all remittances be paid out in US dollar, Sendwave quickly reacted, right? So there's a 1% transaction fee from the US and a 0% transaction fee and a great exchange rate from Europe. So if you're sending from UK, Italy, Spain, and Ireland, you get a 0% transaction fee. And you can pick up the transfer at any Zenith Fidelity or Access Bank branch. So this is what's really important. You do not need to have a bank account. I don't have a bank account at Access Bank and I was able to pick up money. So you don't need a bank account at the bank. All you need to bring is three things your bank verification number, a form of ID like a driver's license or a passport, and your phone because it contains two SendWave codes that you need to give the bank officials. And that's it, the three things, bank verification number, your ID, very important, <laughs> and the, your phone with the SendWave codes too. Wave is amazing. So if you haven't given it a try, give it a try now and use my special promo code, which is just my name, Ivoma, I-V-E-O-M-A. And Sendwave will add an additional five pounds, five dollars or five euro to your first send. That's five dollars, five pounds or five euro added to your first send for free. Remember, cash pickups are available at any Fidelity, Zenith, or Access Bank. And it makes it so easy for you to send money to your loved one. So this is afterwards, I'm about to drive out. I just wanna show you how massive this plaza is. Uh, I'm just showing you what two streets, but like there are so many rows and streets and businesses in this plaza. Um, I think it's great just to, to come and, and see you sometimes. Eleven fifteen. From eleven fifteen 
to one was me uh, moving money. So uh, I'm, you know, gonna insert clips, but the network was down and I kept on making the guy try and try and he was getting like probably frustrated with me, but I was like, I just didn't trust him. Like at the time his face looked very hard. He looked like a cult member with his hard cultish face. So I didn't really trust him. I didn't like his face. So I just didn't believe anything he was saying. And then these other women came, uh, a mother and daughter came and they were like, no, no, it's okay. Let them pay you cash, you count the cash, and then you can go to a POS and transfer the money to a bank account. I have been here for one plus years at this point, um, and I genuinely did not know that you can send money to yourself through POS. I've always used POS to take out money because um, if you move here, you guys will find out soon enough. Uh, when you go to an ATM, it's always empty. ATMs are like typically empty all the time, so it's like, um, I never rely on them. I just go to a POS and I'll insert like a picture of them and then they charge you like one to 400 Naira depending on how much money you take out. So I always go to a POS. I never ever rely on the ATMs at the banks. They will disappoint you. The day that you think that you're about to like, oh, I got money, da 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 da, the ATM like, so um, 